Welcome to Mr. Bacon Pants Plays Games. Today we are playing Ascension, the deck building game. This game is a game that I beta tested seven years ago, and some of my feedback on the UI uh, was put into the game. And in the early iOS version, my name was in the credits, but I did check before I started recording, and they did remove all of the beta testers from the credits of the game. Um, I think it's because the game did kind of uh, go under some new development for a little bit, so I think probably a lot of the code base isn't the same code base that I beta tested, but the UI is still the same. So my changes that I requested are still in the game to this day. So we're going to go ahead and play a single player or, or a player against the, the hard AI, a game you know, against hard AI. And we're going to do the 10th anniversary edition. I used to have the original edition of the, of the first uh, expansion or the first, I guess, the base set. Um, but I have not yet played the 10th anniversary edition, so having this as a digital version gives me that opportunity. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new game. We're going to do 10th edition. Uh, yeah, we'll do a 60, a 60 credit game against the hard AI, or six honor tokens, I think they call it in this game. All right, so we're going to go ahead and click start. Um, yeah, so the UI does look very much the same. Uh, the artwork is definitely different. This is all new artwork because of uh, the 10th anniversary edition, so I do appreciate that. Uh, but yeah, this play all button. And then here's the, the one thing that I did is um, I, I wanted, well, in the iOS version, you could actually swipe to look at all the cards. And I was like, guys, you got you to gotta give, give me a way to look at all these because on the iPhone, it was a lot smaller, the text. All right, so this one is the Reactor Monk. I really love this new artwork, first of all. I am just, I'm awestruck right now. Sorry. All right, so uh, gain one. Uh, this is like the currency of the game. I think they call it runes. Gain a rune, and you may pay a rune less next time you acquire constructs. Constructs are things that kind of stick around turn to turn, uh, like a lot of games like this. There's like cards that stick around, and then there's other cards that you just kind of like play, get their ability, and discard. So constructs are those. The Mechana... Uh, they're always expensive, but they do give you a lot of points at the end of the game. Uh, this one's worth two points, one point there at the bottom. So again, this is about acquiring cards, not necessarily directing a direct attacking the, the other player. It's just about building your own deck and trying to score as many points as you can. Um, so this one's nice. So you gain attack. Uh, and attack, again, is not about killing the opponent. It's about killing these monsters. That's the second currency is you have to have attack to kill monsters. And they give you a reward when you acquire them. The little dots tell you how many of each of that card are in the deck. So right here, both cards are right here. There's only two. But this one, there's four of in the main uh, deck. And then you always have the mystics and heavy infantry. So heavy infantry give you uh, attack, the attack monsters, and then mystics give you runes. And then you can always beat up the cultists for one honor point. And that's really it for this game. It's simple, but it is also a lot of fun. Uh, this is the one of the first like center row deck builders, I think, that came out. I think Ascension was the first. And then a lot of people took this idea and kind of ran with it, made it their own. I'm going to go ahead and try to do a Mechana strategy this game. And I can't really buy anything else. I can't do anything with my one attack, so I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. If the animation is really slow, um, you can turn it on to be a little faster. All right. I feel like I'm playing in slow motion right now. Okay. What do I want to do? So right now I'm doing Mechana, so I definitely need to go more money. So I could buy one of those. But then I have no more money to buy anything else, because I can't do anything with one money. So I'll go ahead and end the turn. All right, they're going pink, void. See, Void has these Banish abilities, which I do like. Alright, go ahead and play. Aw. First time you defeat a monster in the center row, you gain honor. And then once per turn, gain... Oh, this is the Construct. Gain this. And then uh, once per turn, you may spend four to gain three. That's nice. So I could do something with my money. 
Yeah, let's do it. Oh, there's another mecha now. And I can beat up the cultists. Yeah. All right, so uh, the way you end this game is you have to deplete the honor pool. So that's why that one construct is about, you know, buying honor. Because what you're doing is you're kind of racing to the end. All right, so... I don't really care too much about what they're doing. This game, I think, kind of falls into the trap of a lot of deck builders is since there is no, like, player interaction, well, direct player interaction other than, like, hate drafting, you kind of don't really care about what they're doing other than, like, oh, crap, they're building an engine. I must buy the parts so they don't buy the parts. I'm actually going to buy this. So it's draw two cards, banish a card from your hand uh, so I can kind of get these little chintzy apprentices out of my deck. Man, I really love the new artwork. I know a lot of people hated the artwork of the early Ascension sets. They're always like this, like, like color pencil style. Um, and a lot of people didn't like it. I never minded it. I thought it was like an interesting style. It wasn't like too offensive to me. Uh, but some people really hate it. This has like more of a, I don't know, like a modern style of, of you know, of art that are in these types of games. I kind of like it. it's a little bit more mature. This is making me want to buy the 10th anniversary set because seeing this artwork, I, wow, Ascension has come a long way. Seriously, I, I, I mean, basically, I kind of forgot about Ascension because I've been playing so many other deck building games. The artwork, guys, is pulling me back in. All right, so this is a construct once per turn. And it's worth four to end of the game. Once per turn, you may acquire a mechanic construct and you may put it into your hand. Oh, yeah, definitely that. Definitely want that. Uh, beat up the old cultists there and end the turn. Like if all the new sets have this kind of artwork, I'm rebuying them all. Like this is amazing. Welcome to Mr. Bacon Pants gush over artwork. But it, it really does add a lot to the game. If you're gonna play a game like this, you wanna see good artwork. I mean that's half the reason why people just buy and collect Pokemon cards and magic cards, is some people never play the game. They just want to have that artwork. Banish. And it's like, I understand. I understand. Okay, so I can actually put this right into my hand. And this is the once per turn gain two runes, and you may spend it only to acquire Mechana Constructs. Which that might help next turn. So yeah, that's the other thing. Like once you get uh, constructs into your into your field, there's really nothing that the opponent can do to get them out of there. I think in later expansions there were things that would, that you would uh, allow you to discard the opponent's constructs, but I think in the base set there's no way to to do that. All right, so you may treat all constructs as mechanic constructs. So yeah, definitely want that guy. All right, and see, I have to click this and I can see. So that was something I asked for in the beta a long time ago. Was like, I need a nice little thing to pull out that tray. Uh, before, I think it was like you had to wipe up or do some kind of weird gesture on the iOS version. There wasn't a desktop version uh, when the game came out originally. All right, so this one just replaces itself and it gives you one victory point. So I don't, I think that's an okay buy. And, yeah. I'm not going to be able to... Wow, sound effects. Um, and then this one just gives me an honor and a rune. I, I think I'll buy that as well. So I'm only at four victory points. But that doesn't, it's, not, it's not counting the cards in my deck. And if I'm buying a lot of Mechana cards uh they they normally are worth a lot of victory points because they're expensive um so i can treat all constructs as mechana constructs which means i can put this into my hand because even though it's a lifebound construct my other thing my mechana seven coster ultra rare hollow foil um card uh, is, is going to really help my strategy of constructs so once per turn gain a rune and then unite once per turn, if you have played a lifebound hero, gain one, 
gain one honor. I don't think a knight was originally in the base set. Or maybe it was called something else. Hmm. Nothing to really... So I might as well just beat up that poor guy. And then I guess I'll get an infantry so I can get some of these bad guys out of the way. I'm kind of falling in love, in love with this game again with this new artwork and this new base set. They're really trying to make this, uh, put this back on the map. All right, so I'm definitely going to do the draw two cards, banish a card. Bye, Apprentice. You're out of here. I don't need you. I got your clones. I do wish that this was like a, you know, a, like context sensitive instead of having to go over here to click play all. I wish this would just play all and then click end cards. All right, look at that. Eight points right there. I'm definitely buying that once per turn. Yeah, so this is going to be, I think it's going to give me a lot of attack, right? Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and use that. Seven right there. So definitely beating up the big daddy. Going to play my little apprentice clones. And I guess I could gain two. And I have to play another player. Uh, I don't know if I have a lot of green in my deck. But I do have that one card that really wants me to play lifebound. So why not? I feel like my engine's pretty much kicking right now with my, my construct. So I really don't need to think too hard. I really just want to end that. Okay, so there it is right there. A monster will uh, destroy... Does it say destroy all my... Okay, if an opponent has more than one construct, that player must destroy all but one construct he controls. All right, well, you may keep one construct in play. Um, where is the one... You may treat all constructs as mechana. So I'm going to go ahead and do that one. Keep that one in play. All right, I'm going to draw a card. And nothing else that really matters. Okay. So, draw a card. Each opponent must choose and destroy a construct they control. I really don't want to have them... I, so, I, I got to take one of these out. Get rid of their... Yeah, I forgot that that's how you uh, interact with the, the opponent. With the monsters. Okay. They might have added that, too, in this new edition. To make the, the base set more... Um, have a lot more back and forth between the players. Like I said, a lot of these cards did change. I think a few of them, the rules changed. They rewrote the templates on them. I do apologize for all the screaming. It's not me, it's the game. So don't worry, I'm not screaming. All right, so we're going to throw this. Once per turn, you gain two and you may spend them. Yep. Which there is a construct there. Okay. So I'm definitely going to buy that. Mm, yeah, I'm going to do this. i got to get rid of some of that dead weight. Speaking of dead weight, got to beat up the cultists when you can. It's their own fault. I mean, they shouldn't follow cults, you know. Think for yourself. It's a hard thing to do for some people. All right, draw two cards. Discard one in your hand. Apprentice clone, I'm sorry. Your brothers are good enough. All right, so yeah, it doesn't matter. I can play them all in any order now. I got to do Mechana. If I have a Mechana, I got to buy a Mechana. I'm going all in on Mechana. Of course, the computer's like, I see what you're doing. All right, draw a card. Yep. We'll go ahead and play all. I can draw two cards. Hmm, I like this guy. I like the new artwork for this guy. Um, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about with the artwork, I mean, just go to boardgamegeek.com. Look for Ascension, the first one. Because um, this is a remake of that first expansion. And you'll see what I'm talking about with the artwork looking like colored pencil. I, some people hated it. I did not. But I do love this artwork better. Um, I like drawing two cards. All right.
Man, that was a long scream. I don't know about you, but that was a long one. That was someone who had like a long day, you know? Oh, right, it's an auto, auto one. Okay. Well, yeah, it gives me three. Six left. It's highlighted. That means the game is going to end the next time someone takes honor. Well, at least six honor. Um, each opponent must choose and destroy a construct. Okay. Um... Let's do the staff. All right, so that's it. I think I get one more turn because I went second. Is that how it works? I can't remember, honestly. All right, I think I'm going to buy first. Um, I'll just buy whatever has the most honor right now since I'm not going to be able to play it. All right, and I'm basically just seeing if another bigger monster comes out. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do this one. And we'll beat up that guy, beat up that guy, beat up that guy. Man, there's like just a line of cultists, and I'm just beating them up. All right, so then I got 28 points, and they got 40. But remember, my deck... My deck might have more cards. And I do! One point! Oh, man, look at that. Yeah, so you see, like, their strategy was getting a lot of honor. My strategy was buying the Mechana. Mechana, you know, notoriously has... Uh, they're expensive, but they always have, like, they're worth more points uh, at the end of the game. At least, at least that's how the original expansion was, or the original game was. Yeah, like, eight, six, seven, four, you know, two, two, two. And then their cards... Um, yeah, they didn't have really a lot of expensive cards in their deck that were worth a lot of points. So they kind of went more, you know, probably da direct damage and killing those monsters and getting 40 honor points that way. And that's kind of what's kind of cool about this game was that, you you know, it, it, for as simple as it was, you did have multiple paths to victory. You know, one of them was just like building an engine and trying to deplete the honor pool as fast as you can before the for, for your opponent kind of... Uh, he gets, gets what they need to get done, done. And then the other one was just, like, buying, like, those expensive cards. Like, I was just kind of going all in on Mechana and then having, like, you know, the effects of Mechana where I can treat all constructs and then just going construct heavy um, was, was, I think, was pretty awesome. I really like that. But, yeah, one by one point, so that was a close game. The AI in this digital version isn't as strong as other games, um, but it is fun to play online. Uh, it was one of the very first async multiplayer games I played in a digital format, and I really did enjoy it a lot. Uh, so go ahead and check that out, because uh, it does come with online, and online was pretty active, at least when I was playing it seven years ago. Um, but yeah, that is Ascension. Uh, this is the 10th anniversary edition. Uh, there are a lot of other expansions, so there's a lot to get into. There's the two newest ones that are in the digital one. And what they did what they did was, I think, really nice of them, was that all the um, old expansions are now free. So, you know, the, the seven years of history or six years uh, of history is free and you can kind of play with those uh, as they you know as you want to at your leisure and then the newer expansions are not costing money so that's what that, that was kind of cool to get you know the new you know the new players you know uh they're not going to be like held up like oh i gotta buy forty thousand dollars worth of expansions no let's go ahead get those out there for free and then everyone can be on the same page and play all the same expansions so that was really nice of them i really appreciate that even though i did buy all the expansions seven you know as they came out over the years uh, i don't mind new players getting them for free i don't mind supporting developers and giving them money i understand as an early adopter yeah maybe i do pay more but i also support devs creating great digital adaptations of games and you know if, if no one pays them any money then no digital ad adaptations exist so there it is. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Tell your friends. Tell your family. Uh, this was Mr. Bacon Pants Plays Extension.